Hi guys, another charity shop buy here. Cost me 50 pence. It's supposedly a wind up torch. It's one of those ones I think, I haven't taken it apart yet, but I think it's a cheat. If you press the button, the light comes on. So it's got a battery in there. And if I actually turn the handle, I don't know if it, well, it does get a bit brighter, so it's probably helping. But I thought I'd see if I could get it apart. It doesn't come apart easily, so I'll move the camera back a bit and have a go at it. Right, this is going to be guesswork. There's no obvious little tabs or anything to pull off and find screw holes underneath. So I think we're just going to have to go along the seam and see if we can loosen it. There's a seam along there, there's a seam there, and there's a seam there. Aha, that moved straight away. Well, it does appear that there should be a twist and turn on it. Oh, Ikea. I didn't see that, first of all. Yeah, that should be a L-shaped twist and turn. I should have been able to do that. It doesn't feel like it wants to. It certainly comes apart easier like that. Okay, does that come out? Okay, nothing spectacular at this end. Just three LEDs. A little circuit board there. Obviously that's the switch. I think I'll put that back on there just so the bits don't fall off and lose them. Right, let's see about this end. This doesn't seem so keen on coming apart. Okay, a little bit excessive force there, wouldn't it? Well, clearly if we had got it apart, we'd have undone those screws to release that end. Can we see anything in there? No. So we'll carry on. gap appearing there.
Got it. Okay. Well, I've got to say, I haven't seen any batteries in there. So is there a big capacitor, perhaps? Have to unscrew that, won't we? Alright, so that's our generator. That looks very much like a brushless motor in reverse. It's got three wires coming out of it. see lots of coils Ah, right. 5.5 volts, one microfarad. Don't know if the camera's picking that or not. I've got terrible lighting. I just can't get the lighting right at the moment. I'm looking in the shops for different kinds of lights at the moment. Let's turn that one away. So well, I'm impressed. I was I was expecting a cheat, so I was expecting batteries hidden in here. But that looks like that's a genuine uh, capacitor storing up the charge from the, well, like I say, effectively a brushless motor. That's the best way I can describe it. I like to use the word stepper motor and people get all upset when I say stepper motor. It's the same general idea. The magnet moves and the coils stay still. That's still enough. Don't know. Should put some charge into it. Turn it over. Whoa, nice and bright. So <laughs> Can I put it back together now that I broke it, trying to get it apart? Well, the answer is sort of. <laughs> yeah, it's back together. So what did I say it was? It was an Ikea or something or other, wasn't it? Made in China, 19972. 
IKEA TYP M one zero zero one one J U S A Jussa or O oh, L J L J U S A Well, for 50 pence, I think that's brilliant. Now that I know it's not got a uh, cheat inside, it hasn't got batteries hidden in there. And we've got a set of diodes to rectify the uh, current coming in from the generator. So we've got three wires coming in. And then we've got, let's see, that one goes to there, so the diode goes across that way and the diode goes across that way. If we come off the other wire, that comes to there, diode goes to there, diode goes to there. And if we come off the other wire, diode goes to there, diode goes to there. And then that tag and that tag are the sides of the capacitor, supercapacitor, I'd guess. Yeah, that's right. So, whichever, um, whichever way the current is coming in from any of those three wires, it's being fed into the supercapacitor to store the current. And that resistor there, brown, black, I can't quite make it out, looks like gold to me, brown, black, gold, gold. But that's in series with the LEDs. I'm have to sort out the lighting, aren't I? Because this lighting is awful. Well, like I say, I'm very pleased with that, apart from the fact I've broken it, taken it apart, and apart from the fact you can probably not hear me because of a washing machine going in the background. That's a nice little item for 50 pence. You'll have to have a look on online or IKEA to see how much they are normally. But for 50 pence, I reckon that was well worth having. I'm going to get it in the wrong way up, aren't I?
Well, I take back everything I said about being a cheap cheat. It's not. It's a genuine dynamo charging a rechargeable battery, or in this case it looks like a supercapacitor, and that's what's driving the LEDs.